Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Keo Daikin. In today's review, I'm going to show you guys some of the new video loading screens that you can add to your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or to your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, these video images, I believe, were made about two years ago by WDG. Uh, supposedly, they were lost, and initially, they were supposed to be released with Supreme Unified about a year or so ago, but uh, it was released on a build that we eventually ended up scrapping. And so we thought they were laws. However, I was able to extract them because I did keep a copy for myself. And so with that, I'm gonna give you guys this little short tutorial about how to add some new video loading screens to your Raspberry Pi. It's very short, very simple and easy to do. And it shouldn't take you guys more than a few minutes to do it. All right, so a few things that you guys will need. You will need a program called WinSCP. Now you'll have to source that yourself. I'm not going to go into a full tutorial on how to get WinSCP and uh, access your Pi using SSH uh, settings. But if you guys are familiar with that, you just go ahead and open up uh, WinSCP. Make sure your Pi is connected to your network and make sure that you do have SSH enabled. So you're going to go ahead and log in under Pi. You guys can ignore the root. I was doing something else a little earlier. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to log in. My password is already saved. And the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to go to your home, Pi, RetroPi, and you will see a folder called Video Loading Screens. Now, I've included the video loading screens in this video in the description below. All you have to do is download them from my Google Drive unzip them and install them on your computer extract the folder into whatever directory you want to of your choice and then you're going to click this folder and drag it over here and it will replace the current video loading screens you already have uh, on your uh, pi device now once you already get them loaded on your pi device you're just going to go ahead reboot your pi or reboot uh, restart emulation station and you guys will be all set so uh, once you get these video loading screens in here, you'll see a bunch of folders and there's nothing in these folders whatsoever, but you will notice that these videos are all here down here on the bottom. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and edit and make your own video loading screens or uh, make sure they're about eight seconds, each one of these are about eight seconds. And uh, you can go ahead, let's say if you want to open this up in Adobe Premiere, edit something and then uh, you know, you just make sure you keep the name same and you can use whatever video screens you want for your loading screen. So these will launch anytime you guys get ready to play a game and uh, hope you enjoy this short tutorial. That's pretty much all you have to do to get them going and um, hope you guys enjoy this video ROM pack for you guys. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at what these uh, things will look like once you get them enabled. And we're going to go ahead and start up a game give you guys a little sneak peek and there you have it hope you guys ensure enjoy this tutorial please subscribe uh, sub consider subscribing to my youtube channel make sure you hit that bell and notification icon i will be uploading more content about other things i'm not just going to do videos on raspberry pi i'm very well rounded but consider joining any one of my other social media groups that i'm affiliated with hope you guys have a good evening hope you guys have a good weekend and this is keel dyken saying i will catch you guys next time hope you guys got something out of this and stay tuned for some more great stuff i make sure we have plenty of uploads for you have a good night.